From WNY News, this is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. We've certainly had our fair share of rainbows across the Twin Tiers over the last several days with the rain and sun both shining together. And uh, tonight was another perfect example of that in Pine Valley. Amanda took this shot earlier this evening of a double rainbow there. And if you missed it back on Friday, check out this impressive double rainbow. And this was actually just before the Wellsboro graduation. And we want to wish all the Wellsboro students and other students all across the Twin Tiers that uh, recently uh, graduated. A very happy congratulations to you. All right, let's take a look at our almanac for the day today. Temperature struggling a little bit, but not far from what's normal for this time of year. We had 74 degrees. We started the day off at 56. Unfortunately, we kind of take a couple steps backwards tomorrow. It's going to feel like fall with temperatures barely getting into the mid 60s for highs. Now at this late hour, we're settling down into the mid 50s, eventually into the upper 40s overnight tonight. The rain that we picked up a couple hours ago weakening and pushing off towards the south and east. But as we look back towards Toronto and areas of the central Great Lakes, still some limited moisture back there. And uh, we can't completely rule out a spotty shower tomorrow, but it looks like any rainfall will be on the light side and still a couple showers to get through over the next hour or so. But we'll likely see some breaks developing after midnight, and that could lead to some areas of patchy fog. Here's our future track for Monday, and you can see by 10 a.m., limited sunshine, but also an isolated shower here or there. And uh, the same can be said going into the early afternoon. Bottom line is though that any precipitation will be spotty and light in nature, but the clouds will tend to keep temperatures down. Here's expected rainfall totals through our Monday. And again, we're only looking at a couple hundredths of an inch and that's about it. A uh, bigger weather story for tomorrow will be the cool temperature 66 our five degree guarantee. So well below average uh, for this time of year. So here's the setup. Low pressure departs during the day tomorrow. And in its wake, high pressure moves in. As this moves closer, we start to see more breaks developing in the cloud cover on Tuesday. And eventually, with this high pressure system just to our south on Wednesday, uh, that's going to allow a southwesterly wind to develop. And that's going to push temperatures up here by the middle part of the week. So a couple cool days to get through. Tomorrow, 66, 69 on Tuesday, but then up to 80 here Wednesday, mid 80s expected Thursday, 83 on Friday. Looks like by Friday, our next cold front comes through. But uh, over the next several days, other than that isolated shower for tomorrow, uh, we're looking mainly dry. So our forecast for tonight, mostly cloudy, a couple showers, patchy fog after midnight, low temperatures in the upper 40s. Tomorrow's five degree guarantee only 66. We dip back into the upper 40s tomorrow night. Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday looking dry. You can see the warming trend expected. And then Friday, our next cold front moves through with a few showers and thunderstorms. Looks like pleasant conditions will follow for next weekend. All right.